Hey everybody, it's been a while. Dr. T, just checking in. New year, new hormones, new you. No fibroids, no endometriosis, and definitely no eshores. So just wanted to check in, talk about uh, anything, any questions GYN oriented, um, any questions, um, anything related to integrative functional medicine, Fibroids, endo, Esha removals, um, still seeing people virtually. For any of you that have insurance nationwide and want to be seen, I can still uh, do that with COVID, making it possible for us to actually see some of you and do some consults and order some hormones. I consult a lot with women right now on uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome issues, irregular periods, and, and things like that. So wanted to also really talk about right now the number one well that's that's two number one most common hormone imbalance that i see in women and that is testosterone deficiency testosterone deficiencies are uh very common in women and actually it's really interesting because um a woman just said to me today that western medicine thinks that normal is normal meaning uh, the, the range for a free testosterone in women is like 0.2 to say 6.4. Most women come in around 0.2 to 0.4. That's really common. So the doctor's going to tell you, well, your testosterone's normal, but here's the rub. You're in the house because it's normal, but you're laying on the floor in the basement. And that may not be a very comfortable place. That may not be somewhere that you actually feel normal. So the goal with testosterone replacement or getting your testosterone back into a normal range would be to get you kind of up onto that main floor. Um, and testosterone deficiency is very common. It's uh, one of those things that usually testosterone deficiency is going to feel like four or five in the afternoon, you're just crash and burn mode. Um, you kind of, if it was a t-shirt, testosterone deficiency would just say meh, like I don't care. And sex obviously is one of those things that you don't care about. And it's not because you don't think your husband is so fine and his dad bod isn't just like totally turning you on. What it is, is that you're tired, you're fatigued, you don't have the drive, the desire, and the just the normal oomph that you would have during the day. And so uh, you don't feel like having sex because you just don't feel like doing anything. Um, so the thing about testosterone deficiency is we want to make sure that you're not just in the basement, but that you're up towards the main floor, even on the stairs in between the main floor and the attic, that you're elevated around that middle of the road spot and, and, and an area where you feel normal. The other thing is a lot of doctors will check your testosterone, but they'll only check your testosterone. They won't check your free testosterone. Testosterone, the total number, doesn't really tell me a whole lot because it's not the total. The total that isn't what's actively working in your body. The part that's actively working in your body is the free testosterone. That's the actual unbound hormone. So if your doctors are ordering testosterone and they're only ordering a total, you want to have them checking on the actual free testosterone. That's a blood test that can actually be added to the testosterone panel. It's the same with thyroid. You know, free T3 is different than your you know, your overall hormone because test uh, thyroid can also be bound and inactive. So one of those things you just want to keep an eye on when they're ordering tests for you is what kind of tests are they ordering and um, go from there. So the question here is, is what are you feeling? First of all, are you feeling fatigued? Are you have decreased uh, sex drive? Do you have fatigue in the afternoons, especially? Do you have just a kind of generalized feeling of bleh, meh. Uh, you don't like to do the things you used to like to do. Your quality of life has decreased. Just You just feel off and you don't know exactly what it is. That could be testosterone deficiency. Your workouts are suffering or you just don't even feel like going to work out. Um, you, you know, at your job, you, you used to have that kind of edge. You used to just, you know, want to get out there and do and now you just don't feel like doing that. That's testosterone deficiency. And I can order labs anywhere in the country, uh, Quest, LabCorp, CPL. Um, we can order labs. Insurance generally covers those. We can then have a consult on the phone um, through telemedicine. 
bill your insurance, talk about plans, not just hormones, but supplements or other things that could help, exercise plans, nutrition plans. There's so many things that you can do. You don't even have to leave the comfort of your own home. We can talk on the phone. So one of those things where um, you don't have to suffer. One of the number one reasons that women have low testosterone, probably in that 20 to 40 age group for sure, is oral contraceptives or birth control pills. Birth control pills raise your body's estrogen level. It's a synthetic estrogen. What it then does is it raises a protein in your body called sex hormone binding globulin. Sex hormone binding globulin lowers that free testosterone that I was talking about. So what it does is it it grabs onto testosterone in your body and it makes it inactive. So the more birth control that you're on, the, the higher your estrogen levels, the higher that, that sex hormone binding globulin is going to be driving down your testosterone levels. So if you are on birth control pills and you're not necessarily taking them for birth control, you're taking them for bleeding or fibroids or endo or something else, they could be lowering your testosterone level, making you more tired, making you more kind of less you. Um, and so it would be something to take a look at. Um, you have absolutely um, no reason at this point to not get your hormones checked. It's easy, it's a blood draw. If you don't like the idea of needles, we can order a, um, a Dutch panel, which is a urine test that checks your testosterone as well. It also checks all the other hormones. Um, it uh, takes a little while for those to come back. The blood test, usually if you get your blood drawn, I'll call you the following week, we'll go over your results and we'll come up with a plan. Uh, super easy. So I just wanted to check in and let you know that we are still also um, doing surgeries here in Austin. There is, you know, I have a lot of people still traveling. I just went to Hawaii to teach uh, the excessive procedure, which is a fibroid procedure. Um, so there's, you know, if you're a healthy individual, um, especially if you've gotten the vaccine, if you're not afraid to travel, uh, the surgery schedule right now is light because it's January, which is very common. If you've been thinking about getting those ischers removed, uh, give me a call. If you have a history of endometriosis, uh, even if you've had recent surgery for endometriosis or fibroids, it's important going forward after surgery to not put yourself into a hormonal imbalance that's going to make those endos and fibroids kind of grow back. So I like to make sure, I have doctors refer to me all the time, their patients that have endo and fibroids um, even after surgeries because they want me to help balance the hormone levels. Easy enough to do and definitely can help, not just help with fibroid growth or endo, but can also help with just feeling better. Night sweats, mood swings, irritability, insomnia, weight gain, um, uh, period regulation, um, just kind of getting you feeling back the way you were when you were a little bit more balanced, whenever that is. And some people maybe haven't been balanced for a long time and you can't remember what that feels like. So um, if you have any questions about anything women's health related, uh, drop a line, drop a note here. Um, I'll answer them even if it's not in the live. I'll, I'll come back and answer. I check all the time and I'll try to answer what I can. I can't really give medical advice unless you're a patient. Um, I can answer general questions about just hormones in general. Um, if you have specific questions, it would be a great opportunity to call the office and make an appointment. It's a phone call. You don't even have to leave your house. You can be in your bed in your pajamas with your coffee. It's really easy to do. And we can order labs anywhere in the country. Um, do it all the time. So the phone number is 512-956-0296. And you can get the blood drawn. Uh, we'll get you on there and we'll get to your blood drawn. Um, and we'll set up an appointment for the following week and we'll go over your results. Uh, in the meantime, I am making a little bit of food to eat. My cauliflower crust pizza is uh, very delicious looking. Oh, I haven't cooked it yet, so I didn't want to put it in because it only takes about 10 minutes and I didn't want to burn it. So I'm going to go for now. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and uh, we'll talk later. Bye.